Hey guys, today we're going to answer a question that I never really thought of, um, but I've got asked it a couple times. I never decided to do a video till now. So as, as you can see, uh, my hand is bandaged up. Um, I had some surgery done on it and some skin grafts and stuff like that, and uh, I'm going to have this on for at least two weeks. And uh, it's kind of relevant to the discussion is... Do you need to be good at typing to be a good coder, to be a good developer? Is that crucial to your development as a coder? And I will tell you right now, I um, I can't type with this. Uh, I'm actually in a lot of pain. Uh, but uh, the um, this will affect me. I have one hand, right? My right hand. I use my mouse with it. But uh, originally I was asked this question by a subscriber who has a disability in one of his hands. But I've also had this question asked time and time again uh, for people who are either can't type without looking or are like hunting and pecking. Now, um, how I'll be coding is hunting and pecking with basically one hand transitioning from mouse to single hand. Um, I can't really move this around too much because there's skin that's been cut out and whatnot. So I, I, I literally can't use my hand uh, at all. So I, I will be doing this sort of hunting and pecking. And to give you a perspective about how little it will affect my work, it will, uh, most of your time spent as a developer isn't actually typing code, it's figuring out the code. Um, you're gonna type relatively a small amount of code and it's more of it's logically going on in here. So you don't really need to be a fast coder. Now, I'm losing one hand completely and I predict that this is going to slow me down by about 10 to 20 percent at an absolute max and that's only just me because I have to type out the code and go back and forth because the bulk of your time isn't spent typing it's actually spent solving issues and understanding that and research and so yeah I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a hard time typing in things when I'm googling and going to stack overflow and and all those resources um, that you go to as a developer but the actual time that I'm going to lose from, from typing things out is going to be relatively minor. And so if that's something you're worried about, you're a slow typer, you're worried that that you're going to have an issue because you have to look where the ASDF is and all that sort of stuff. And my, my, my one thing, that'll become easier the more you type, right? Um, the other thing is it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Um, I'm losing an entire hand and, uh, I, you know, I, I'm probably pretty fast with just my right hand. It's been a long time since I've ever had to do that. But, um, uh, if that's one of your concerns, don't sweat it. Uh, the more you type, the faster you'll get, but your typing speed has absolutely nothing to do with you as a developer. It really is just about you solving problems and understanding and be able to read documentation correctly and, um, understand what the necessary steps are to get from 0, 0.0 to 100 percent so don't sweat it and uh you know i mean when we read the stack overflow survey there was a um, a question on there that said how many people were disabled and how many people didn't type with their hands and it was like point is like one tenth of one percent but of sixty four thousand people that were surveyed in stack overflow uh, one tenth of one percent is 64 people who are typing with their toes or their tongue or something else and they're able to be competent developers so don't sweat it if you're slowing down um, I'll, I'm gonna be slowed down for at least two three weeks and I, I expect it not to affect my work uh, too much so if you're a slow typer don't worry you'll get faster and it's not gonna be something that's not there's not going to be any, how many words can you type per minute? They're going to give you algorithms and expect you to solve it. And if you can solve it, the time being spent on typing will be very little compared to the time spent on solving it, as will be your time as a developer. So don't sweat it. Um, it's always good if you can type fast. Kind of cool. Cool skill. Look at it. Not look away. Look at it. Carry a conversation on. You'll get all those skills. Uh, you know. Uh, but... It's not going to affect you as a developer, so don't sweat it. Kind of a funny question to me because it never even occurred to me, but I've actually had a, quite a few of you uh, ask this, and I'm happy to finally answer it. Anyhow, guys, stay motivated. Keep working hard. Sorry about the mess. My dad's visiting right now, and so uh, a little messy in here. But, hey, this is real life, man. We ain't faking any of this. This ain't a studio. This is the office with the guest futon. So, anyhow, 
stay motivated, guys. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorial360. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.